All right. I think it's time to talk about the elephant. E elephant? Elephant? Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Elephants? Yes, elephants in the room. Let's get to discussing. So hey, what is happening everybody? This is Jimmy Bones back at it again with another video and what I have for you all today is going to be another video regarding uh, Halloween 2022. Um, now I didn't really make a video regarding the Home Depot stuff because I feel like my opinion would have probably about that stuff probably would have made a lot of people question why um so and not to mention I, I i was a little late to that party so i just decided to scrap the video on that and just didn't release it but considering the fact that that all has been released we also got two new things that were released alongside of these animatronics and that was the new jimmy 2022 lineup as thus far that would be the new life-size jimmy 2022 roaming chucky doll and what's brand new for jimmy 2022 the 12-foot animated mummy now now we're going to talk about this because I feel like this needs to be addressed. Um, and, you know, what is Jimmy Bones without some Jimmy talk, you know? Because I originally grew into loving Halloween and Christmas because of Jimmy. And because of that, they hold a special place in my heart. Now, I have been wanting to talk about Jimmy as a whole company for a while, and I plan on making a massive video regarding that. But for now, we're just going to talk about these two massive topics that I have been seeing roaming around on the internet. So, without any further ado, let's get into this video. So, first I wanted to talk about mainly the first smaller elephant in the room, which would be the life-size animated roaming Chucky doll made by Jimmy for 2022 this year. Now, this was on the Morris Costumes website, and a lot of people had a lot of mixed reviews about this. Um, and I have to admit, I, I, I was I actually thought it was going to be a tabletop. And I was like, oh, cool, they're bringing back the mini horror figure. But then I realized it was a life-size, and I was like, you know, this don't look right to me. Um, and I say that because this looks a lot like the original mini horror figure Chucky doll, which I actually own. And I actually compared the two. I was looking at the two... Um, animatronics i was looking at the picture of this new one and the one that i have and they look almost remarkably identical now my i now my opinion on this is pretty much like everyone else i don't like this um <laughs> and why do i say that it's because it is not original at all and i've always seen a lot of people mention the fact that we don't really get chucky dolls that just stand there and like talk and move their head side to side and move their mouth or have like a moving arm or something um but i mean hey at least he did not get the near of like disrespect as the michael myers <laughs> Or the where, uh, or sadly, the most pathetic one besides the Michael Myers, the Lowe's werewolf. <laughs> um, it could have been way worse. I, could, I definitely could say at least he did not get that kind of makeover. Um, and why I say that is because this Chucky doll at least looks like Chucky, unlike the Michael Myers. <laughs> he don't look like that. You know that don't look like Michael Myers. This at least does. Now. I do like the overall concept, and I think that this Chucky doll would have been a lot more successful if they had added more to it. Instead of recycling like Jimmy always does, and actually coming up with an original idea, this would have been a lot better. Now, I don't know exactly fully everything that it does, but <laughs> sadly, I don't get this feeling that it's gonna do much um it might roam around and talk but i don't even get this feeling that his hand or arm is gonna be moving at all um now again what upsets me about this is the fact that it's a recycled mold of the mini horror figure just enlarged or as i like to call it stretch res chucky doll or mini horror figure chucky doll um and this chucky doll it's not the best um now 
I don't like the fact that they decided to take away the uh, the mouth movements because as you all can see, the mouth looks like it obviously does not move. I thought the hair was a little off and I, I didn't really like the way it looked. I also thought the color of the board did not look exactly right with the animatronic i thought the dark gray base of the mini horror figure was probably better but that that's about it for me i don't i i mean the design's cool and it looks nice it's kind of cool to see this old mold return but it, it's just the fact that they it just feels like it was lazily put together and i don't really understand why they decided to put the base uh down as a kind of like rustic gray color or combination and why they decided to put a knife in chucky's hand that is very loosely dangling it doesn't even look like he's holding it like they didn't even try to move the knife around the thumb and that's the biggest thing that i'm really not a fan of i'm not a big fan of the way he looks i'm not a big fan of how they put him together um i i think he was just very quickly thought of because they probably had the original molds but since it's jimmy and jimmy is not what it used to be you know i wasn't really expecting much but again i think this would have been more successful if it had been a tabletop and didn't move now there's a lot of things that point to the fact that they this that this is a roaming chucky doll because um underneath the board we could see these black gears which kind of pointed out that that's what this was going to be now again i don't know how tall this is going to be it's most likely going to be four foot tall um so we might see that but again i really wish we could have gotten something a little better especially when it came to the animatronic uh, animation uh, we could have seen maybe an animatronic animation in the head or at least the arm or something but again he did not get the makeover the michael myers got and that is an animatronic left to be forgotten and shall never be uh talked about hardly ever on this channel much but will be referenced again because of how pathetic it was so we're going to move on to the next animatronic and i wanted to talk to you all about this so the next animatronic I wanted to talk to you all about is the massive 12 foot animated mummy for Jimmy. Now, here's the thing. I saw a lot of people talking about this animatronic um, and the reviews actually are horrible. Um, but I can't help but enjoy, to, I can't help but actually like this animatronic if I'm being totally honest with you all. Um, and now, why do I say that? Um, the biggest thing is that these animatronics, you all, from Jimmy, have never been perfect. Especially, I guess you could say, after 2010. Um, it was after 2010 is when we really started seeing the downfall from Jimmy. And when we saw that, Jimmy decided to start really reducing on how they did things. I don't know what happened between that year of 2010 and 2012. It was like 2011, something just completely changed. And after that, we started seeing less animations and the animatronics. Now, with that being said, this to me is actually a massive improvement compared to other animatronics we have seen from Jimmy. Now, I, I understand people's frustration i think when we hear jimmy we just immediately think trash company and we are very biased when we come when it comes to animatronics but compared to the past animatronics we have gotten this animatronic is actually really nice compared to other things and i think it's really cool that jimmy is getting back is actually becoming a part of the 12 foot franchise because it could possibly be a good way for them to make some more money um this is also in a more original idea and it's not a recycled idea that jimmy has had now yes granted they have made life-size mummies in the past and there have been ones like that but nothing like this now i think the biggest thing that a lot of people forget is that you know you all, we were excited about a creepy pop-up girl from Lowe's. Granted, the price was really nice, and for 67 you couldn't really complain. But all she did was just popped her head up, and we got excited about that. And then Jimmy makes actually this really nicely detailed animatronic that's 12 foot tall, and people are hating on it. And I can't really think of why, because actually, compared to the other 12-footers that we've seen by SVI, yes, the designs of them are cool, but all they do is just move their eyes around, and they don't don't do anything this 12 foot prop 
while it has the same kind of board it maybe has some of the same kind of ideas it actually has movement and the thing i like about it is the fact that it actually does things like changes color and as you can see through the pictures that i have up on the board it changes colors of green blue red and the original color which is like a whitish orange and i think that's actually very cool and i think it's cool that jimmy took the next step forward for them to actually be able to add this um, to a 12 footer uh, one thing that SVI has not done. Now, don't get me wrong. I love the SVI 12 footers, but the fact that Jimmy made a 12 foot prop that actually can, I guess you could say move and has noise to it. I like that. Yes, the noise is not perfect and we can see that in the videos that we can watch, but the fact that they decided to make this an actual animated animatronic, I think we are overlooking that. And we're making fun of it because it's made by Jimmy. Now, granted, this thing is not as impressive as the SVIs, but it's still nonetheless really cool. And I think it would be a really good hit out in a display if you managed to put it in the right area or do the right kind of look to it. Now, again, that's just my opinion. I mean, everybody's entitled to their own opinions, but to me, I actually really like liked this animatronic i didn't think it was a bad design and we haven't seen a mummy from jimmy in a long long time and i'm hoping that maybe they will start following the idea of um animatronics like svi and techie make because if they start doing things kind of like that, they might be a little more successful. Yes, they will be considered a ripoff company, but you know, you can't really diss Jimmy especially when they used to be the titan of animatronics um, back in like 2000, the early 2000s to 2010. Now, again, this is a much larger improvement compared to the creepy pop-up girl, the Lowe's werewolf, the horrible Michael Myers. What the hell is even that? The witch at Lowe's, etc. Um, and I'm hoping we'll see more, and I hope that maybe Lowe's might get a better run-up, because lately, Jimmy has been constantly just recycling their animatronics and selling the same ones every year, so for us to get some brand new things from Jimmy, hopefully we'll be able to see better things come from them, and we'll see how well they do, especially when it comes to sales. Um, but I would say to everybody who is watching this video to give it a chance, because yes, we... It, it is true that you know we we are biased against jimmy heck as a jimmy fan i i am very critique uh i'm very i'm a major critic of jimmy um and i am i'm also not the biggest fan of them but i still love them and they still have a soft spot in my heart and for them to be able to do something like this something that svi hasn't done yet i think it's really cool so we'll see what happens we haven't gotten to see this thing in person but personally me compared to all the other 12 footers that have been invented so far this is probably the coolest one in my personal opinion and that's not me, me being biased because this is jimmy okay if you all know me i am a big critic of jimmy this to me is just cool because it's the first true original animatronic we have seen in a while that actually does more than just one movement this thing makes has a bunch of amazing light systems built into it it turns and makes noise and on top of that the design is really not that bad so again i would say give it a chance and we'll see what happens i would say let's see what it looks like in person when it comes to lows for 2022 and judge it from there but for now, that is just going to be my personal opinion, my thoughts on these two animatronics mainly. Because again, what's Jimmy Bones without some Jimmy talk, right? So, without any further ado, you all, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I would love to hear y'all's comments in the comment section below to tell me what you all think. I'm pretty sure I'll know what everybody thinks. But maybe my persuasiveness or my opinion maybe made you second guess. I don't know. But anyways, you all... I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. This is Jimmy Bones signing off. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.